In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to use Pinnacle templates for your own personal or business projects. These templates have effects, transitions, and text boxes built in. So even if you are new to Pinnacle Studio, you'll be able to create a professional-looking movie quickly and easily. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. In our first project example, we're going to use the Colorize template to make a short wedding photo compilation video. To access the template, we'll click on Project Bins and select the template we want to use. In this case, we'll use the Colorize P07 template. Now, double-click the movie.axp file to load the template files on the timeline. You can see that the AV tracks have now been filled with placeholders here for our images or videos. Here we have different titles that we can customize throughout the video. If we click and drag the playhead along the timeline, you can see the transitions are set across the entire template. If you want to zoom in or zoom out on the timeline, scroll down to the bottom of the timeline, and you'll see an icon with two arrows. Then click and drag to the right to zoom in to be able to edit individual components. Or click and drag to the left so you can zoom out to see the entire template in the timeline. And you can use the bottom scroll bar to adjust your position on the timeline as well. Now we're going to change the edit mode by going to the right of our screen and clicking on the drop down menu. We're going to switch to replace mode. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus Shift plus R. We're ready to add our own media into this template. So go to the project bin where you have uploaded your footage. And all you have to do is click and drag the media clip you want to add into the desired placeholder. So I can drag this picture of the bride over top of placeholder one. And you'll see that the placeholder will be highlighted in red. Once you release your mouse, your photo will take the place of the placeholder and will have the template transitions automatically added. Now repeat this step with all of the placeholders on the timeline. I've added a photo that we need to adjust. I have this photo of Mr. and Mrs., but the aspect ratio isn't the same as the project file, so we see these black bars on either side. We can change the size and position of a photo by clicking on the photo on the timeline, and then make sure you're in scale mode. From here, we can click and drag the photo to reposition it, or drag on the nodes to rescale or rotate the photo until it fills the entire frame. Now let's edit the titles. Click on the title you want to edit on the timeline. It helps to drag your playhead to the middle of the title so you can see what it looks like after the transition. We can make edits to the different text and shape layers. Let's click on the first text layer and change this to Our Wedding Day. Now we'll click on the second text layer and change this to Lauren and Ben. Let's edit another title on our timeline. Let's say you want to remove one of the elements of this title. You can click on the text or shape layer and right click on it and select Delete Layer or press the Delete key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can click the Hide icon to make the layer invisible in case you change your mind and want to enable it later on. I'm going to change the text to the beautiful bride. But I also want to change the color of the shape layer because it doesn't really match the color scheme of my photos. To do this, I'll click on shape layer and then just change the fill color to your desired color. You can even use the eyedropper tool and select a color from your photo so it matches perfectly. You'll want to save your project as you're working on it. So go to file, save movie, and save it as a studio movie project that you can edit later on. Once you have finished editing your video, you can export it by clicking on the Export tab at the top. Then choose the folder destination. Give the file a name and choose a preset to export as. I'll choose HD 1080p and click Start Export. Now we're going to try another template, and this time we're going to create a video for a photographer's business. Again, we'll click on Project Bins and select the template you want to use. In this case, we'll use the Blur Effect P08 template. Now double-click the movie.axp file to load the template onto the timeline. 
you can see that on AV Track 2, we have several split screen placeholders, which are different from the media placeholders that we worked on in the first template. To add media to the split screen placeholders, right click on one and choose Open in Sub Editor. This will open the Sub Editor in a separate window. From here, you'll click on the project bin that contains your media. Then drag and drop your media onto the placeholders as we did in the first project. For this template, we're going to replace the same image in all three of these placeholders, as that is what will give us this blurry layered effect. You can drag the playhead to the beginning and press play to preview. While we're in the sub-editor, you'll also want to make any edits to the titles within each one. Just double click on the title. Let's change this title to the name of the photographer. We can even click Add Text Layer to add a subheading that says Professional Photographer underneath and change the font and size. Then press OK. Now repeat this process with the other split screen placeholders by going into the sub editor and dragging and dropping the images into the placeholders. You can delete any titles you wish to and press OK. In this template, we also have some regular placeholders on AV Track 1. Make sure that you are still in the Replace Editing mode. Then drag and drop the same image you used in the split screen placeholder into the regular placeholder. And if we drag the playhead to preview, you can see the beautiful effect that has given our image. Continue this process until you complete your project. These are just a couple of the awesome templates you can use to create your own unique and professional videos.